Hello, hello, hello everyone. I am back and I am excited to chat with you today. This should be a hopefully, um, hopefully this will be a much shorter episode than the last one. I apologize that that one got, that one got away from me. But anyway, welcome, welcome. My name is Christy Archer of Christy Archer Designs and this is my knitting podcast. Um, to Today is Tuesday, November 6th, I think, something like that. <laughs> um, and if you are new here, welcome. I am super excited to have you visit with me while I chat about the things that I've been working on and would love to chat with you. If you will chat with me in the, in the uh, comments below, I would love to hear what you've been working on. And if you are a returning viewer, Oh, I just cannot say it enough how much I appreciate you coming back time and again and always chatting with me and I feel your love and support and appreciate it so, so much. Um, so yes, thank you, thank you, thank you for uh, visiting with me again. So today I am going to talk about my one finished object and um, I haven't even tried it on yet. I literally just took it off the blocking mats, but I have made it before and it is identical to the one that I made previously, just different yarn. Um, I will try to pop up some B-roll of me wearing it. This is my um, Stockholm Slipover, the first one, which is a crew neck. And I used and I did not bring the tag, but I did talk about this in, did I talk about this in my last video? I can't remember, but this is made out of Lion Brand's Jean line, and this is light denim color, if I remember correctly. And um, here it is. I love it so much and I there's a let's see if I can get that to focus okay uh, the yarn split right there so when I was blocking I noticed the split stitch so I've got to go back and fix that but yeah I feel like this is something I'm going to get just as much use out of as my black one um, and I am super excited. If you are not familiar, this is by Petite Knit, and it is a top-down construction. You cast on for the back. Um, you do the back down to the armhole uh, where, where the armholes will meet, and then you do the left shoulder, then you do the right shoulder until you join where the neckband meets and then you uh, work back and forth until you get to the same length for the armhole. You join and work in the round. Very, very, very basic, simple construction. Um, great instructions. Um, I did do a, um, a live video with Lisa from Yo Yarn Girl. Check her out. She and I are doing a vest uh, a make along and it is hashtag festival. And so if you are working on a vest and would like to join, we would love to have you. I would say as long as you're like 25 to 30%, if you're no more than 25 to 30% through, go ahead and join us. Um, and this runs from November 1st. Uh, so it has already begun through December 15th. So there's plenty of time to get a vest on the needles. You do not have to finish. Um, it is being run over on Instagram and Lisa is also running it on her Ravelry page. I will link everything below. If you join us on Instagram, all you have to do is use hashtag festival. I think it was festival cow 2023. 
I'll pop it up here, the correct hashtag, and I'll also put it in the description because I may be saying that wrong. But anyway, this is my first submission for the festival. And I am loving, loving, loving the way it has turned out and am so excited to get to wear it. Um, I generally just wear a white t-shirt underneath. We are still dealing with uh, quite warm temperatures here in Southern California in the desert. So we are still in the low 90s, some days um, 80s. Uh, we did have a little bit of a cool spell where we were high 70s for a few days. But yeah, we're still in warm temperatures, so it's kind of hard to do um, a lot of knitwear. Um, so that is my FO. Love it. Highly recommend the pattern. Um, and like I said, I do talk about this on the, um, on the live video that uh, Lisa and I did together, and that is on my YouTube channel, so if you wanna check that out. Um, and my next vest that I have cast on for the Make Along is um, another petite knit pattern, and this is the Weekend Slipover. And I don't have it on needles because I have just finished the back portion and this is not a typical color for me. It is showing up a little more true to color here on the uh, live video. It was showing up more orange, but it is showing up. It is a little more of a purpley pink than is showing up on camera. Let's see if I can get it to. Yeah, it's still, you can see a little bit of the purple kind of look to it. The color is called Pucker and it is definitely, <laughs> it's aptly named, I believe. Um, so this is Mighty Stitch by Knit Picks and it is a bulky weight yarn and there's the info on the back. And um, this is it's um it's okay to work with. I probably would not I don't know. Um it is kind of an acrylic-y feel to it. It is 80% acrylic, 20% wool. Um so I don't know if I would get it again. I uh I think before I go any further, I am going to and I don't know why I'm having overhead shadows today. Sorry about that. Um, I am going to block this before I go any further because I'm not crazy the, um, my tension is not the best on this. Um, so I want to see if those tension issues will block out with it being mostly acrylic. Um, I did do a swatch, but I didn't block the swatch because it's acrylic, basically. And it's not like I'm going to have a lot of changes in stitch um, count uh, for my gauge. So anyway, this is, I'm ready to uh, pick up and do the left shoulder, then the right shoulder, and then again, join in the round. Very basic construction for a top-down uh, vest. So yeah, this is fun. I am excited about this bright neon color, even though it's not something I would normally wear because I think it's gonna look so good with a crisp white shirt and uh, rustic blue jeans. I just think that's gonna be a lot of fun. So I'm kind of excited about this wild color, though it's not, <laughs> It is the only thing in my uh, yarn stash that is this color. Um, and it is being housed in one of my project bags. And somebody had asked me previously if I was going to start making project bags again, but I don't believe I will. So these are no longer available. Um, okay, that is whip number one. Whip number two, I did show on the last podcast and I am loving every stitch of this. 
I am working on a new cardigan pattern and I have the hem done and let's see. And I did do an Italian bind off. Um, so yeah, this is a top down raglan construction. Again, very straightforward. It has a deep V. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but it does have a very deep V. And I have not quite decided on the button band yet. What I'm going to be doing there, I'm either going to do a, um, um, a one by one rib going around um, or I am going to do a double knit band. I'm just not sure yet. So that's why it's kind of where it is. Um, I am ready to do the sleeves. I guess I could go ahead and do that. Um, and again, it's being housed in one of my project bags. Um, the yarn is And again, I did not bring, I did that last time. I don't know where the yarn bands are. Okay, so I'm using a combination of Aloft from Knit Picks, and this is colorway silver, I believe. It says on there, silver. And then I'm also using, I'm using two yarns held together, and this is a worsted weight uh, Knit Picks yarn. It is called Wool and Cotton, and it is 50% wool, 50% cotton. I am in love with it. So, um, yeah, that is that. I hope to have that one finished by my next podcast. I have scheduled to, tomorrow to do the um, button band and then uh, one day, the following day, let's see, so Wednesday to do the neckband, Thursday to do one sleeve, Friday to do the other sleeve. So that'll be in time for me to um, podcast, do, um, wow, film my podcast on Sunday. Um, and I do apologize that this one's a couple of days late. Uh, I wanted to finish that um, Stockholm slipover, and I had kind of lost a little bit of my knitting mojo. So I was, I didn't really lose my knitting mojo. I was just kind of, um, well, I guess I did a little bit, but I was knitting a lot slower. Uh, not knitting as often, and when I was knitting, I wasn't knitting quite as, fast as I normally would. So that one took me a lot more time than it normally would have. Um, oh, and I forgot to talk about what I am wearing. I am wearing my Spring Fling cardigan, which is a pattern by me. And the yarns that I used in this are some of my hand dyed yarns. Uh, so yeah, this is, I love, love 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 this cardigan i'll pop a picture up of it and i may do some b-roll for you as well this is a great fingering weight cardigan um and you can just have fun with the stripes uh, i think i'm gonna make another one out of a solid color because it is a very good weight for here in southern california so yeah, I think I'm gonna be casting on another one of these soon. I wanna make another one of these and I wanna make another one of my, um, which I wore in my last podcast, my Party of Eight top um, pullover sweater, whatever you wanna call it, it's short sleeved. So I, yeah, it's been fun pulling out some of my older knits and wearing them again and realizing how much I really do love them. So I just need to get some more on the needles. But that is it for today. So yes, this was a very nice and short, short and sweet episode. I just realized I did not talk about um, 
this, what my mannequin is wearing. She is wearing a holiday slipover by Petite Knit, and I have spoke about it before in uh, some of my older podcasts. So uh, you can check those out. I think you will see this on the thumbnail. Um, but that's it for today. Sorry, this was, well, sorry, not sorry, I guess. I don't know. It is, it's a little bit shorter than I had intended. My last one was a little bit longer. I'm going to try to get my, my podcast to be consistently around 20 minutes. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for stopping by. And, um, if you want to see some more of my podcasts at the end, there will be some, uh, thumbnails come up and you can click on one of those. Um, or you can always check out my YouTube channel and see what I have available to watch. Thanks for hanging out with me again, and I will see you hopefully again next week. Bye.